everyone, welcome to day three, section 7-2, inverse functions and relations. So today we are going to determine whether two functions or relations are in fact inverses of one another. So we're going to be using the idea of composition of functions um, like we did the other day. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Inverse functions. Two functions are inverse functions if and only if their compositions are the identity function. So what does this mean? It means we will need to show that f of g of x equals x. x is the identity function, okay? And we'll have to show that g of f of x equals x. So we need to show that both of these scenarios equals x in order for the two functions to be inverses of one another. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this first example and see whether or not these two functions are inverses of one another. Okay, so example one, we are going to use composition of functions to determine whether f and g are inverses. So the first thing we need to do is show that f of g of x equals x. All right, so we're using composition of functions, and remember, this is saying that we wanna take function g, 4x plus 24 plus three, and plug it in to function f. All right, so what's this going to look like? Well, let's go ahead and begin. So we're going to have f of g of x equals, so 3 fourths times this quantity, and let's use blue for function g. So 4x plus 24 all over 3. And then don't forget about this minus 6 at the end for function f. So when we carry things out, the nice thing is, is these threes cancel. And we want to show every step from here on out. So we're going to have 4x plus 24 over 4 minus 6. Well, over here, if we take a look, we can take a 4 out of each of those three terms. So when we take a 4, we're going to have x plus 6, and then we can't forget about that minus 6 at the end. Well, x plus 6 minus 6 just simplifies to be x, which is what we want. So that case works. Okay, so since f of g of x equals x, now we need to test the other. We need to test and see if g of f of x also equals x. So let's go through this process. All right, so now down here we are going to show or try to show that g of f of x equals x. So what is g of f of x? Well, this time we're taking function f and plugging it into the x in function g. So let's go ahead and um, we'll call function f, we'll call it green. So now we've got four times three-fourths x minus six, and now we gotta continue, plus 24 all over three. Okay, distributing that four in the numerator to each of these guys here, we will get four times three-fourths is simply three x, four times negative six is negative 24, then we've got that plus 24, and this whole thing is over three. So order of operations tells us, well, the 24s cancel, so we are just left with 3x over 3, and now our 3s are going to cancel, leaving us with our final answer of x, which is our identity function. Okay, so is f and g 
Is this an inverse relationship? Yes, they are. So our final answer is since f of g of x is equal to g of f of x, which equals x, they are inverses. Okay, so we're using composition of functions to determine whether or not these relations are inverses. Okay, so now I want you to try the next on your own and see what you get. Okay, so you're going to be using composition of functions and determining whether or not you get your identity of x. Okay, so go ahead and try it right now. And uh, I'll show you what I got in just a second. Okay, hopefully uh, you were able to try it on your own. I will run through it rather quickly. First showing that we are going to look at f of g of x. All right, so I would plug function g in for the x in function f. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we would get 3 times 3x plus 3, and then we can't forget about that minus 3. Carrying everything out, distributing the 3, we get 9x plus 9, then minus 3. Our final answer is 9x plus 6. Well, last time I checked, this does not equal x. So since that's the case, I don't even need to go on to check the next step. I know right away that these are not inverses, okay? If you were to have checked the other scenario, you should have found that g of f of x simplifies to 9x minus 6, which, again, is not equal to x. So we would make the same conclusion that these are not inverses of one another. Okay, so pretty quick video tonight. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you come to class uh, with those questions in mind. Okay, enjoy your evening. Bye.